Цепочка бас колбасит соло, колбасер по пояс голый. Hey everyone, my name is Sandu and what you've just seen is my army of rats partying after a successful day of training. As you might already know, I'm one of the best coaches not just in the world, but in the entire galaxy. I've trained aliens to survive in harsh environments. I've trained two mannequin to run from a dangerous dragon avoiding different obstacles on their way. And now, I've trained a whole army of rats to explore a maze. Well, actually, first they had to learn how to see and move, but after that, they started mastering the art of maze navigation. But how are they learning, you might ask? And that's a good question, young Padawan. They are trained using machine learning. For those who don't know, machine learning is when you teach a computer program to learn how to accomplish tasks by itself. You still have to make an environment and the according rule set, but then the algorithm based on rules you've given it will try to find the best combination of actions in order to maximize the result. I had four different intergalactic species of rats under my control, but before I present them to you, pause the video and subscribe to the channel. It takes you seconds to make my day. Okay, now that we've taken care of that, let's meet our Apex Explorers. Our first contestant is the rat Boris. Every member of its species has a yellow fur. They are notorious for having a very good reaction, thanks to the 10 eyes they have in front of their head. However, they are unable to see what is behind them without turning around because of the displacement of the eyes. The second rat is named... Boris too! Yay! This species of rats has a red fur with yellow nose and paws. Species of Boris too have 20 eyes all around the body. That allows them to see what is going on at any angle. Many will think that this is overpowered, but here is the thing. The more you know, the less you understand. Imagine seeing the image from 20 eyes simultaneously. How big of a brain you would need then to process this information in real time? Almost as big as mine. It is the same situation here. Brain-wise, the rats are similar, but information they get differs. Our third participant is Boris 3. <coughs> Boris 3 has purple fur. This species of rats has only 7 eyes, but they are all around the body. That means it can see in every direction, but has many blind spots. And last but not least, you've guessed it! Ron. Ron doesn't have a species, it's just Ron. Ron has light blue fur color. Oh, actually, uh, I might have lied a little. Ron is the least from this group. You see, all rats are punished for existing, which means that for every moment of their existence, they get punished. <laughs> that is done so the rat is motivated to complete the task as fast as possible. They are also punished for bumping into walls, however are rewarded for every coin collected and for the distance traveled. All the rats but Ron. Ron is not rewarded for anything, and punished only for existing. <sighs> Poor Ron. Each of them was trained for about 7500 iterations, which is more or less 15 hours each. That is without about 50 hours while I was looking for the best parameters for them. This process is one of the most funny, important, unpredictable, but also time-consuming process out of all. Here is one funny example. Initially, the rats were being killed when touching a wall. I thought that in such a way they will learn faster to avoid the walls. You know what actually happened? They started running into the wall to die as fast as possible. Rats soon realized that the punishment from touching the wall is much smaller than the whole existential punishment, so they considered that the best solution at the time. Okay, I think it is time to see which one of our contestants will be the best of the best. Pause the video and make your predictions in the comments down below. Will you guess the winner? There will be 10 rounds, each round with a procedurally generated maze. The rat that has the most coins at the end of the round will win. And who wins the most rounds basically won the whole tournament. Now, let the first round begin. And in this round we can see that Boris 2 is immediately taking the lead and picking the first coin. But after that Boris 3 also picks up one coin and goes for the second one and takes it. And now Boris 2 is mad and picks the second coin as well. In the second round we can see that Boris is taking the lead and Boris 3 is kinda confused. 
Boris picked the first coin, Boris 2 picked the second one and goes for the third one, but Boris managed to take it first. The third round started with a close round between all three Boris, but while 2 and 3 were fighting for the bottom coin, Boris went for the both top coins. And he managed to get both of them. Fourth round also started with a close round, but it seems like Boris 3 is really motivated to close the gap between himself and the opponents, and he takes the first coin and also goes for the second one and takes it. In the fifth round, Boris is going for the bottom coin, while Boris 2 and 3 are going for the top ones. And then Boris 3 also picks a coin, and Boris 2 picks the last one. Now it seems like Boris got mad and decided to take the lead. He goes fast for the first coin, and then immediately rotates and goes straight for the second one. And it takes it. In the seventh round, it seems like Boris 2 was going for the bottom coin, but then changed his mind and Boris just picked it while Boris 3 was going for the top coins and picked one, and then Boris picked the second one. The 8th round starts with a close run between Boris 3 and Boris. Then Boris 3 picks the first coin but trips and Boris rotates and goes immediately for the second coin and manages to take it. 9th round was completely dominated by Boris. First he took the first coin, then immediately rotated, went for the second one. After greedily taking it, it immediately went for the third one and took it as well. And in the last round, it seems like Boris 2 and 3 had the lead and then just decided f it's not worth it. So they just turned around and let Boris take the last coin. So in the end the score is 14 coins collected by Boris, 7 coins collected by Boris 3, 5 coins collected by Boris 2, and of course 0 coins collected by Ron. As we can see, few of my assumptions were proven right, so Boris 2, even though it had so many eyes all around his body, performed worse than Boris and even worse than Boris 3. My second assumption was that Ron sucks. And we also can see that Boris was our apex maze explorer, so he won this tournament. That is all for this video. I hope you liked it. I would like to thank Quaternius for making this cute rat model I used in the video. Go check him out. Also I would like to thank Stination for the maze generation algorithm. Links for both assets will be in the description down below. See you in the next video.